Welcome to ProPresenter version 4. Version 4 of ProPresenter is the most significant upgrade that we've done to this award-winning lyric and media presentation package. And it's going to be my pleasure to actually walk you through a lot of the new features, a lot of the enhancements to the old features, and just give you a great overview for how you can use ProPresenter version 4 to its maximum benefit for your particular productions. Now before I actually dive into the interface and how the in individual components actually work within the software, I first want to welcome you, as I have, uh, but also I want to talk to you about a fundamental change that we've made with the way that ProPresenter works. And that uh, fundamental met methodology change is in the existence of layers. We've always had layers within ProPresenter, but I just want to make this clear to the uninitiated so that you can actually understand all of these different things that I'm actually talking about as I talk to uh, talk about them. The first layer that we that we have to, to address is our background color. And the background color is can, uh, is just the, the default color that you're going to see on the screen or that your audience is going to see on the screen when nothing else is on the screen. And so this can actually be set globally um, and is generally generally black, but you can set it to whatever uh, color that you want to. Um, it's generally set globally, but you can also, in ProPresenter version 4, you can set it in the uh, document preferences as well as in, on an individual slide level, you can change the default background color. So that's a nice new addition that we've added to ProPresenter version 4 is the ability to change the background color for individual documents and individual slides. Sitting on top of that layer is our live video layer. ProPresenter has always had the ability to bring in a live video background via a camera or any uh, device that you can plug in via a Firewire port or USB port or um, via Blackmagic or AJA uh, capture card. So this live video layer sits on top of our background layer and uh, allows you to use it uh, if you want to show any kind of a live camera feed. Now this is not meant to take the place of any kind of a video switcher and you can't switch your live video inputs. That's not the purpose of ProPresenter. ProPresenter is, as it is at its heart, a presentation package and live video is just one component that you can have within your presentations. Above the live video layer is our video playback layer. And the video playback layer is going to be one of two things. Very often it's going to be video backgrounds, which are looping video backgrounds or uh, just items that, that are visually appealing and are backgrounds to the next layer, which is our slides layer. And the slides layer are, slides are basically the components of presentations. And presentations could be songs or they could be sermon notes or scripture verses or DVDs or any, any major presentation element uh, that you're going to have is going to consist of a, of a slide. Your backgrounds and the video playback will continue to play as we change the slides above it. So finally, our top layer is our props layer. And props are persistent objects that sit on top of all of these other things that are going on. And a great example of that for purposes of a church is a nursery call out announcement that you want to show on the screen while you're actually changing through other slides or other videos. Another great example is if you want to have a, a, uh, a logo on the lower right hand corner of your presentation and just have that live all the time, then the props layer is where that's going to actually exist. So now that you understand these different layers, I can go through the interface and show you how to affect the items that are on each of these individual layers. So we'll start out with the main interface. And here it is. I was actually using ProPresenter to show off those, those two slides and go through that overview of the various layers of ProPresenter. So to start off with, uh, I'm going to start off in this upper left hand corner. The upper left hand corner shows me a preview of what my audience sees. So this is what you, my audience, saw at the beginning of this presentation. And um, this is my little preview of what my audience is seeing. And this is always active as an operator of ProPresenter. I always can see, keep an eye on what my audience is seeing by looking up here in the upper left hand corner of my presentation. Below that is the library, and this is my master database of all of the individual presentations that I have within, uh, within my library. Um, the library, uh, the items in the library, the individual presentations are always available. I can search them by uh, search for a specific presentation, both by the title as well as whether a particular slide contains uh, specific words, which is very useful if you're ever in the middle of a worship set and uh, you don't know what the worship leader is singing, you can always just do a search for the contents of a particular slide just by clicking on contents and then typing in whatever search criteria you want to into this box and that will sort out or filter out all the songs that contain those particular words. And then underneath my main library, I have my playlists. 
And playlists are where you organize your individual presentations. And typically for a church service, you're going to create a playlist for each individual church service that you have. So to start off, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new playlist. I'm gonna call it This Sunday's Service. And so that's created my playlist. Now I wanna add presentations into my playlist. And so I can do the search or I can just scroll through my, my song library. And so I'm just gonna add some, uh, some songs, not paying too much of a, attention to these. Um, and I can do that just by clicking and dragging any of these presentations. In this case, these are mostly all songs. I can add them into the playlist and I can actually re reorder these in whatever way that I want to just by dragging them into whatever spot that I want them to be within my playlist. So once a presentation exists within my playlist, I can always make it live just by clicking on it, uh, just the same way that I can in my library. And again, all your presentations of your library are always live, they're always available, uh, so that you can always bring them up uh, should you need to. So this is gonna introduce a new feature that we've added in ProPresenter 4, which is our contiguous view. So very often when you're in a playlist or you're in a worship environment, a production, uh, you wanna be able to see all of the individual slides uh, of the various presentations that you're going to be using. And so by turning on this little contiguous view box, um, this allows me to actually scroll through. Right now, Blessed Assurance is my song name, and I can see that up here in my title bar. But as I scroll through here, when I get to the end of this song, it immediately shows me all the slides for Rock of Ages. So this is all one contiguous view of all of the individual presentations that I have within my playlist. And when I get to the end of Rock of Ages, it'll start Amazing Grace. And again, I can make any slide live um, just by clicking on it. So when I click on that, it's gonna get rid of the uh, slide that I had active. And now I'm looking at these words over the moving background that I showed at the very beginning when I was actually welcoming you because that actually remained live over the slide that I was already using. I can change the slides just by clicking on them at any time, and as I click through these different slides, you see that the text is changing on my video background. I can also change the video background on the fly. Here's my video and image bin. I've got several different components of that, and I'll get into that a little bit later, but the primary component that I'm worried about here is backgrounds, and as I click on different backgrounds, it's going to make those backgrounds live, as I can see in the preview layer, and as I can see if I toggle my output to show what my audience is seeing, this is the full screen output of the text over the moving video. So because these individual layers are controllable independently, I have the ability to change my backgrounds independently of the slides that are sitting on top of it. So I can click on different words, but it's not changing the background. The, the looping video background just continues um, just like I want it. And then I can change the background just by clicking on it down here. <clears throat> Very often though, what you'll want to do is to actually change the video background at specific times within the song. And I can do that by adding what we call background video cues. To do that, I hold down the command key and I just drag whatever background I want to make live to the slide on which I want it to become live within the song. So I'm gonna start this song out using this video background. And then when I get to the second verse, I'll go to this video background. So regardless of what is actually live, when I click on this slide, you'll see that it changes both the background as well as the text above it. And then as I click through the song, is changing the text until I get to the next slide that has a video background, at which point it will change both the text and the background. So once I've set up these individual video cues within the song, I need not actually have the backgrounds been active anymore. So I can actually close that and just look at the slides if I want to. So that's the, the basics of the primary components that you're gonna be using uh, within ProPresenter, which is your slide layer and your backgrounds layer, or your video layer. Um, now I'd like to talk a little bit about the toolbar. Um, the toolbar gives me ready access to a lot of the functions that I'm gonna use regularly within ProPresenter, and this is all customizable. Um, the first is in the upper left is the kill all button, when I, uh, or the clear all button. By clicking this button, it's gonna clear everything that's going on all at one time. So you see that my screen has gone to its default color, which in this case is black. I, I can also clear slides 
by clicking on the clear slides layer. I can clear just my backgrounds, uh, the props, which I'll get into a little bit later, any audio that I might have playing. I can also have a, I have a bail to logo function. So by clicking on this, if you have a church logo and you'd rather not just clear the screen, but you'd rather just go to uh, a full screen logo, clicking on that, in this case, I've set this to be the ProPresenter logo, so this is what my audience would actually see. And then we have other buttons to create new presentations, and that's going to be our next step is to create a new presentation, uh, as well as some other buttons that give me ready access to the various functions of ProPresenter. And again, all of this is customizable uh, by right-clicking or control-clicking and then saying customize my toolbar. And that's the basics uh, of our operation of ProPresenter and should give you enough to get started with uh, as you begin operating, uh, operating ProPresenter. I also mentioned that we have a number of different views uh, with our slides in ProPresenter 4. So while I'm looking at the grid view, which is somewhat traditional of ProPresenter, um, for those that are not aware, I can actually scale this by using this little bar down here and I can make these slides smaller or larger. But another new feature that we have within ProPresenter is the ability to see these slides in a table view. And I can do that by clicking on these lines that are in the, the lower right-hand side. And this is actually going to show me the slides uh, in a smaller view, but with readable text. So I can click and make any of these slides live just by clicking on them within this table view. So that's a new addition within ProPresenter 4. And of course, I'll be going through a lot of other additions as we, uh, as we continue on. But that's, that gives you the basics of the interface. And um, again, welcome to ProPresenter 4.